Okay, hi, welcome. Welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. We are still on chapter six. Um, we probably still will be for a while. <laughs> Last time we did Sadie's mission, so Carmel Driscoll is now dead, although I don't think he is. I think there's something else going on there. Just because the look, the close up on Carmel Driscoll's face, like I know he essentially cannot survive that, but I don't know, something's a bit up with that. And we did some more side missions. We did Albert Mason's side mission. We caught Magnifico. We did some other things too, of which I can't remember. I can't really remember a lot. But the journal will tell us. So, oh yeah, we did, um, broke the curse and stuff, didn't we? So, let's read. Arthur will tell you better than I can. So yeah, that was last time. Found a raving lunatic, completely raving, took him back to a village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right there. Something kind of village elder, a Vidaya, maybe appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense, weird pace, something not right at all. Found the little magician and reunited this odd family. Fella tried to give me the slip a few times, but in the end, seems they love each other more than they hate each other, or at least it was close. Want me to see their show sometime in Saturday, and so they'll reward me then as they were broke now. Uh, that's Albert Mason. This time, Albert Mason seemed obsessed by getting eaten alive by alligators. Again, he managed to survive, but more, survive much more by luck than by judgment. Got a letter from Mary, what did I expect? What did I want? Weren't never meant to be and never really was and yet somehow in the end I discovered I had a heart because it was broken. Oh you fool, you sad deluded fool, torn in two by different ideas of who you were and it turns out who you weren't, neither of them. Went back to that place, Butcher's Creek. The locals thought they were being attacked by demons, but I think they were just sick dogs. Seems like Obadiah the Elder is also possessed by the snake oil shaman fella that turned up. He wants me to destroy some cursed charms in the wood around there. We shall see quite what the shaman's game is, but there's some nonsense afoot. Destroyed those charms, went back to the village. Now the shaman announces things are worse because I destroyed the charms. Remarkably convenient. I was about to give him a beating when he went off. The elder said that shaman was interested in a mine shaft. Perhaps that's worth a look. Okay, so then we also, we have the eel flies mission. We have Hamish. I'm leaving the Hamish mission until after chapter six and then six, sorry. Then we have the Obadiah hinted one. We have John and Rain's Fall as well. So I'm gonna go do the Obadiah one. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I don't think it is, but here's to hoping. Uh, let's go. Why is it taking me? Okay. Um, I might just ride straight up and it will just recorrect the route from there. Yeah, see? Already did it. Tut! Why? What are you doing? I'm telling him to do things recently and he just doesn't want to do it. I just killed something else. Okay. Um. Did I really just kill something else too? I'm killing everything today. Jeez. Oh wow. The storm clouds. There is going to be a storm 100%. Okay. Well, there's... What's... Is this just like a gap? Yeah. Arthur. Oh my god, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is... Uh, this is a dig. Just break it. Oh. Is he strong enough? I don't think he's strong enough. Not that he isn't strong, but I mean, he's sick. I don't think so you'd have like the strength to do that. Mind you, they are rotting, so maybe. Search the mine for clues about the curse. Great. God, no, because I really hate mines. They're horrible. 
genuinely. Like, ever since Until Dawn. Yeah, like, he's having difficulty? Difficulty breathing. Oh my god. Wait, are they being poisoned? Was that- I think that was already established. Yeah, it looks cursed, all right. Yeah. Who's there? I see you over there. What? The game's up. There's poison in this mine. Yeah. Oh my god. Arthur, you should not be doing this. Damn. The fumes are choking you. Follow the stream out of the caves before you stuff it, suffocate. Huh? What is this? Run off head. Huh? Is this not out? No, this is a dead end. Oh my god. Come on, I see light, I see light, come on. Come on, come on. Oh wait, here, here, here. <coughs> this is out the cave. God damn. How do I get up there? Look, no, you can climb in Guama. Why can't you climb here, Arthur? That's the way I came. Do I follow this? Said follow the stream out the cave. So maybe I need a. Follow. Well, there's. Oh, wait, I think that's like a dead end. Gotta go somewhere. This is the only way I can see. Shit. Cool. Could you imagine doing this during the night? They're there. Hey, shoot! Shoot oh. out of here! It ain't safe! That was so scary. I... I just... I can't stand mines. I really can't. Yep. No, because that's a joke now. <laughs> oh wait, I need to go across here. It would explain why the dogs are getting sick. Because they're drinking the water. I told you I would save you. Yes. I said I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes. Show us the light. Stuff. I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you what on your you journey. To them? No, uh, I, I hereby will release, will absolve, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, 
Oh, you're back. We thought the curse had got you. Nope, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. I was down His in the eyes old and I found this leaking all the way into the lake. Uh, You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. Well, let him tell you then. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? Oh, then you won't mind taking oh, a drink. Hey, no. hey, hey, hey. No, hey, hey, please, hey. No, no. Oh my god, he actually made him drink it. Oh, you've killed me. I'm poisoned. Poison now, is it? Uh, oh, the dig. All he found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to get you all to go. Now you heard it. It's taken me. Anyway, uh... Oh, dear. Dear God, there's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? Why? Oh, powerful forces have taken on this town. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is spirits. Yes. It's a mining company. No, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. We got some praying to do. Yes. Don't pray. Do something. You'll die. You Honestly, at this point, if they're not going to do anything, now the medicine man left some money. They just yeah, it, just it. leave them to it. Survival of the fittest, and they're clearly not the fittest or the smartest by that fact. Okay, so at least we finished that mission. I want to go do John's mission. I'm sorry, I really do. Can I set my campfire up here? I can't. Okay, I think I need to go to Valentine. Oh my god, seriously? Wait, was that- is that entire thing completed now? I don't know. Uh, let's- Valentine. Go get to my job mission, my baby. My honey, my husband. I just- I'm so in love with that man. <laughs> Pixel, polygons, molecules. Yeah, no, at that point, if they aren't gonna listen, we destroyed the, like, I wanna say effigies. I don't know if they are though. Or the charms, I guess, in the forest. We literally got them proof and they were like, no, I don't believe you. We got the guy to admit it and they were like, no, like it's spirits. I'm just like, at that point, you know, I ain't gonna do nothing. That that is on you, sir. I'm done with this. There's another strange boy. I wanna go down. Um, I'm gonna go to down. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think that stranger is related to chapter six. What was that? Something about a homeless vet? Is it you? Hey, mister. <coughs> Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Oh, okay. Sure. I'm so happy. Oh. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Oh. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. <laughs> it's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Um, I... Okay. Okay, just quickly. <laughs> that felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. It is. We used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen. Sad. I'm a bit ill, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Remember with kindness. Oh. 
Okay. Well, I got a new friend. I'm gonna go meet my husband right now. Well, not Arthur's husband. I feel like he was Jonah's brother. My husband. <laughs> my John Marston. Can Abigail die? Sorry, is that the hush? No, it's fine. It's fine. Like, I don't. I, I love Abigail. No, actually, I really do love Abigail. But I don't like the fact that she's with my man. Granted, she was there first, because obviously Jake exists. Um, but he is now mine. And I am willing to fight to the death, Abigail. I ain't lying. I will fight for that man, and I will kill. I'll kill your son, too. I'm, I won't kill Jack. <laughs> okay, well, I know that that I really want to go to John's. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Perhaps I should have done that one first. But it's fine. Hopefully these missions will keep me like around this area. Cause if they take me back to Weaver Hollow and then I have to come back here again, then I go away and then I have to come back, I'm so sorry. And then I have to come back here again. Like that's a bit much. Oh my God. No, where are you going? Get back here. I think that was a predator. Um, You don't get to find up like that though. John. Horse, get off of the train tracks. <gasps> Hi, John. Hello. Hi. Arthur, how you doing? Hi. Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels, I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, uh, you could give something to Jack. But it's that or. But what about I don't me? See no way out of this. <laughs> what about loyalty? What about me? What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel oh, good if that makes any sense. A little, but <laughs> listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. I am really low on weight. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. <laughs> Let's ride this thing out on the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. This is going to be a pain. Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Hold down the X as Arthur pushes the bar down. Release as he raises it. Not releasing it in time will cause you to lose speed. This is so painful. I hate this. All right, stop. Here's good. That was, are you, that was, honestly, sure got a lot of this stuff. horrible. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. 
Let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Okay. Um. John, take me on a date here. What? I didn't. I didn't say anything. I didn't. I definitely. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. <laughs> Just like last time. Come on. Nice and easy. I kind of just want to have it drop on John. Not gonna All right. lie. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. Is that bad? Wait, what about that thing in the middle? A train's gonna come along and it's gonna go poof poof. Actually, well, that will. Not the train. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles. That's a to the fuse. big bunch of dynamite. Each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. I think it will be. Um if they don't do the job, nothing will. Pick up some more. Okay. This is nice. I like this. Oh wait, on this side? Yeah. Where did John go? Oh, he's up there. Running and running and okay. running. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. sure. Go on, I can handle the rest. At least, I, if I don't have to push that handbar, I'm Better cool. Work. Make sure not to detonate it whilst I'm still on the bridge though, please. trying uh john god i'm getting confused now <laughs> okay. Shit. I think I hear something coming up. oh no, 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 no that is a train Oh my god, no, don't make me push this. Whilst. This is bad. This is really bad. I'm gonna kill them. Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get Oh my god, I see it out of the corner of my eye. I got. <laughs> that was so scary. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> that just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. My John Marston. Oh, here it is. Oh, I have flashbacks to the ending of chapter oh. one now. I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Is that gonna be a big enough of a distraction? Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth. I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed.
believed in. Oh. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money. For safety. My nose is tinkling. <laughs> you know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. We'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. But don't make me cry, Arthur. Oh my god. It's really struggling. Arthur. Come on, you're okay. Okay, um... Well, we completed that mission. We have the Rain's Fall mission, or the Eagle Flies. Rain's Fall is up here. Oh my god. like this. Is Abigail talking about the money that was in the ledger that got broken into? Or the money in Blackwater? I'm guessing it's the ledger money but I'm not too sure. I, I really don't understand what John meant by that. Like I don't get what money he's talking about. Um, Huh? Hey, careful how you go. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna end up getting killed, but you know, he didn't he wanted me to go, not my problem. Shouldn't be messing with the wildlife, mate, bro, son. Yeah. Not use weapons. Oh, I'm fine with that. No shootouts. I am jolly good. Uh, should I walk from here? Do you think? You stay there. Oh. It's weird. I don't think we've seen any camp that like isn't our own. We have no need for you in this place. I'm sorry. I gotta talk to someone. Hello? Come in. You don't 
doesn't sound very well. I'm not. I'm not. I'm <laughs> I think I'm dying. Okay. And I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I love this uh, boy. No, too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people for a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But, uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Oh, no, I'm glad I happened? caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. What? May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's sir. long. <gasps> Look out! Oh, um... I thought we were going the other way. That's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Passing you. Permanent. Sorry, sir. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing. No, nah, that was oh, me. I'm pretty sure <laughs> had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. We can't 
talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Let's go! Sorry. Why are you riding off like that? I'm not! <laughs> so I was saying, it's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Ch Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. I wasn't even riding plants. I'm just gonna follow him. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. okay. Let's continue on. Like you were saying before. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. He wants us a distraction. He wants them to safe, blame but them, I'm guessing. I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. It's not that way. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know, I had a son once. Years ago. Wait, what? Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Wait, stop here. No, 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 wait, 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 I wanna hit- ginseng. We can talk more about this later. He had a- This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Back to what I was talking about. I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered $10. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but 
some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! No! They've destroyed everything! I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. <laughs> oh my god. There's some whiskey here. I cannot believe this. Whiskey. <laughs> this dude's are having a party up here. Some drinking. Please come look at this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Some logs here they must have used as kindling. Do you have any binoculars? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? 
Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Um, I probably will. Uh, you know. Oh wait, I have to slide down, okay. I was gonna get my horse and go around. <laughs> No. If you could do this for me, I would very much appreciate it. I just realized there's a path. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Do this okay. silently? Engines. Just seems so silly though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? I'm gonna take your gun oil. Oh my sure, god. Like Come up near the Canadian border someplace. Camden? They got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. And French folk, too. I'm sorry. Look, this was never gonna work. Stealthily. Punch them. I think I'm okay. Well, I found the sacred item. Oh, there. No, that's... I didn't mean to do that! I'm sorry. Okay, fine. You can run away. <laughs> oh, I didn't... I didn't know. How was it gonna make me try and get that? Like... Come on. That's just annoying. Things I do for people. <laughs> Look, I'll be respectful. I won't loot their bodies. Where's my horse? Yeah. Can't believe I accidentally whacked that horse. Thought it was a person, okay. I do not condone animal cruelty. Unless this one is my cat. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I love my cat, Aurora, my baby. I'm going not off a bar. Okay. Oh my god. Arthur. Oh, get on the path.
Yeah. <laughs> Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things <laughs> are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. You think I can use that fire? Or not? He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see his wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. CM. Who's that? Captain Monroe. Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was just getting a bit cold, so I just quickly went to go put on... I changed into a jumper, I mean. Let's do this one. I don't know. I think it's interesting that I put us by Hamish. How are you, boy? Yep. Yeah, the... Oh. Yep. Yep. What is it with me and killing the wildlife today? I've been playing Horizon Forbidden West, so I don't know. Maybe like subconsciously I'm just killing all the animals. Yeah. What animal is that? Oh, is that... Is that the cat that I just killed? I mean, kill them, I knock them out different. Okay. Oh god, that's horrible. <laughs> That is a horrible sight to see. Mr. Morgan! Hi. Hello. Here I am, as promised. This jump is so warm and cozy, actually. I never wear it. It's a tiny bit small. It's a medium. But when it comes to jumpers, I usually prefer large. I should wear Chief's one. going out oh. trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children. Dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. <laughs> okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Hey, the way, Captain. Sorry, just gonna get rid of the waypoint. <laughs> so, this Colonel Favor, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. 
and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. Oh, come on. <laughs> cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Oh my... I'm feeling so many emotions right now. I can't believe I've had a son. Alright. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point. That makes me view here. him in such a different light. Yeah. Watch out. Maybe that's why he was also like telling John about taking Abigail and Jack somewhere else. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case... I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Okay, am I allowed to kill people? Just remember to keep it clean. Understand? I'm guessing that's a no. Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Now all I do is clean. No, you're not. No. You need a bathe. Good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. <laughs> Retreat the medicines. <laughs> Arthur, you just promised not to get yourself yeah. killed. Come on. Come to wife. I think I need my horse to catch up to it. Oh my god, Arthur! blood of mine. How am I actually meant to retrieve it though? Maybe I need to like do the Hold it right there. Whoa, you better put that down right now. I didn't mean to do that. We have to. Gonna need your Oh come on! Gonna need 
Gonna need your car, no feathers. <laughs> are you insane? Where the United States are? This is so painful. What the hell? Come on. I don't understand. I don't understand how I'm supposed to do it. I feel like this game needs to be clearer with what to do. Or maybe I'm dumb. That's probably it. I'm not gonna lie. Time to go, boy. can kill them. Gonna need your cargo, feathers. Are you insane? Where the United States are? That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Oh, oh my god! Get up, you stupid damn horse what? get on if i shoot them it's gonna make me lose my honor i think oh come on arthur stop it stop oh my god no 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 i didn't want to do that i didn't want to do that i didn't want to do that Wait, what if I just knock him out? Wait, that might work. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How do I? I don't. I didn't get it. I didn't understand. Was I just like supposed to do it sneakily? I don't get it. Oh, oh. Wait, that's that. Okay, I just picked it up. Cool. Let's go, boy. Oh god, that was painful. That was so painful. <laughs> well, I think one of my only like gripes with this game is how clunky the combat is. If they ever make a Red Dead Redemption 3, oh, which actually I think is in the works, I believe. I'm not sure. I remember seeing something of it, but I don't know if it was just like a rumor. But I just, I hope that they're able to make the combat smoother because it's like, it's pretty much half the game. Like the combat is a really big part of the game, but I really do hope they find a way to make the combat less sluggish and less heavy when shooting. It's not that bad, but sometimes it can get pretty annoying. It definitely isn't the worst I've played. I've definitely played worse. Oh my God, yeah. <gasps> yeah, I got my cowboy hat. <laughs> I'm sick. I don't want me anyway. I want the horse. You okay? Where is he? Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. I think that about that. Take your word for that. 
could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no <laughs> doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Oh, we got a new mission as well. Okay. Honor among thieves! That reminds me of Uncharted. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here quickly. And I'm gonna set up the campfire, because he said to mix the ingredients together. What was it? It was ginseng? Ginseng? Uh, craft... Was it that? That he... English mace. Yeah, I think it was this. Stow it. Yeah, I think that's what he gave. Split point? What does that mean? I guess we can cross some ammo. Okay, <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> what was the other mission that we got? Trelawney! Oh my god! I missed him. I haven't seen him in ages. <laughs> but I... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave the there for today. Wow, I <laughs> this game just really does continue to shock me with the way it's going. I had no clue. Was there any other like hints? Were we told before that Arthur had a son? Because that was news to me. I genuinely had no clue about that, and it broke my heart. And it really made made me love Arthur in a an entirely different way than I I did. Like, I truly love him so much now. And I don't know how close he was to his son. He didn't really specify. He said he'd go see him every few days. But, oh my God, that really did kind of break me. But I'm gonna leave that there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, bye.